online and happiness. You're just going to focus on your money. You're going to focus on your education. You're going to be joining the gym, okay? You're going to be focusing on your music. Some of you are musicians. Some of you are dancers, okay? Your fitness. You're really going to be focusing on yourself. It's all about the self. Tower, a huge tower moment and then death. Like, there's no going back. So something here, this is how you're going to know this is your read. Something here happened recently and is done. I'm telling y'all, it's a Taurus. Or, I feel like it's too. It's a big Taurus and a big Leo that are going to be coming in and they're going to want to fly you out. Like, what the hell is going on with these Taurus? These Taurus are not holding back, y'all. There's something here about San Diego or someone's name could be Diego. No okay, king towards Taurus, and this Taurus keeps showing up in y'all's reads. I don't know what it is y'all did, but it's a Taurus here, and you have them obsessed. Sermons. Hello, Pisces. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Star Seaside here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys. Okay, this is a love read. It's a journal read. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link. In the description box below, I want to thank everyone for all the support, and with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us and three for my Pisces. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. I heard something here about San Diego, or someone's name could be Diego, okay? <clears throat> so we have number nine on the side. The Hermit on the side, Virgo energy, Mercury getting ready to station direct. We have Sagittarius, Wheel of Fortune and Temperance upright, Jupiter in transit, and here we have Mercury in transit, Gemini and Virgo, the Lovers, the Magician, and the Hermit. Hangman at the bottom, that's you guys. So, what's going on here? Ten of Pentacles? Something here about a home? Okay, you could have bought a home recently or you're about to sell your home. Yes. Judgment and the Page of Cups. Pisces, you've made a decision recently about someone. Yeah, death. You made a death and the tower. You made a decision here to end something with someone for good. Okay. Something here has ended. The tower and the death to me that symbolizes a final ending. Like a tower, a huge tower moment, and then death. Like there's no going back. So something here, this is how you're gonna know this is your read. Something here happened recently and is done. Is done for good, is what I'm getting clarified. Yep, six of swords and justice, and this is spiritual balance. Okay, balance is being restored here. Because someone was not treating you how you were supposed to be treated or someone was not acknowledging your feelings, um, the connection that the two of you shared, right? So, yeah, the sun, Spirit saying yes. Wow, Spirit has so much to say to y'all. They're hermits there. The Spirit has a lot to say to you guys. Page of Swords. Y'all waiting for, oh my goodness, y'all, y'all waiting for Leo to post your uh, reading. Is this me? Because I'm a Leo. Y'all waiting for me to post these readings. How cute. No, seriously. I'm very flattered. Although it could be another Leo. I don't... Yeah. Um, who's another Leo that does reads? Austin's Tarot. Austin's Tarot. I believe he's a Leo. There's something here about a group of Pisces waiting for a Leo to post Tarot read on YouTube. And they feel like they're not posting enough or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness well you know what i was getting that like the weekly reads they take a minute so i'm thinking like at least once a week doing live all signs read that way you know everybody can get at least, at least a piece of the pie more than once during the week right but it's something here like you're waiting on an earth sign now um, more specifically, I see Leo there, so I'm getting fixed signs, so I'm gonna lean towards Taurus, and this Taurus keeps showing up in y'all's reads. I don't know what it is y'all did, but it's a Taurus here, and you have them obsessed. 
Sir, Miss, Madam, like this, Taurus. You see, Taurus, when they love, they love. And Taurus is very sensual. Okay, they're ruled by Venus, which is a planet of beauty and pleasure. So it's an energy here of like this, Taurus, the moment they seen you, the moment they caught a whiff of you, they haven't been able to let go. Are you kidding me? And I literally had this. It's a famous Taurus. And, you know, I like to keep my things quiet, but it's a famous Taurus that has almost a million followers on Instagram. And, you know, we never spoke or anything, but I've been looking at their Instagram and whatnot. Tell me how I'm going to have a dream where they were holding me, hugging me, and kissing up on me. I was like, what the hell? And the spirit guys were like, yeah, you know, like, the two of you are going to cross paths later down the line. And they're going to be obsessed with you or something like that. And I was just like... I want to check their uh, their information to see what their zodiac sign. And it was Taurus. I was like, what the hell is going on with these Taurus? These Taurus are not holding back, y'all. But like I said, they almost have a million followers on Instagram. They're pretty famous in the influencer world anyhow. But that dream, I was like, bro, this is just for real. No, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. That that took me so off guard. That's something that I never, I just never thought that would be a thing. Like, this person would have interest anyhow. That's besides the point. Back to the read. I digress. The point is, it's a Taurus here that I feel y'all are going to be waiting on. It's, it could be a Leo for some of you, but it's a Taurus or a Leo that y'all are looking forward to connecting with, okay? You're done with the past. It, it's something here like the past is truly over. Um, it could have been a Scorpio. I heard Capricorn, Libra, or Virgo, someone from your past, but you're done. Something happened recently, and it's it's dead. It's really dead, or it's really over at this point in time. With the Page of Cups and Judgment, I feel Pisces, you, because of the astrology recently, you could have been in your head a lot. You could have been really wondering, um, you know, if you're acting out of your ego or if you're acting from your, you know, the right space, from your heart space, right? But I'm seeing here that spirit is saying you're making the right choice, okay? You're making the right choice to call judgment on the situation and leave it behind for good, okay? Spirit is saying to trust the process that you will have that dream come true when it comes to the Ten of Pentacles, love, right? And the hangman, the hangman, right, has to do with the 12th house, our dreams, our aspirations, okay? Dreams really do come true in the 12th house. So Spirit is saying do not give up hope on your love life because you will have that beautiful, true love that will leave you in the Ten of Pentacles, okay? You made the right choice here, calling judgment on a situation and moving yourself into calmer waters, okay? Even though this was a huge tower and death, okay? But this is spiritual, the spiritual balance, everything has to be balanced, and hermit okay so if someone is not stepping up for us in this life god is going to orchestrate things so that we see it for ourselves clear as day that we are not being valued that we are not being prized okay like it's a taurus or leo here that's going to be very touchy touchy with you and loving up on you and they're not going to make you you know go weeks or months without any type of communication or like it's not going to be unclear where you stand with this person you know i feel like it could be that the hermit, right, there was a dark night of the soul, but the dark night of the soul maybe is about the self, like, that you are worthy of true love and you deserve only the best when it comes to love and no wishy-washiness, right, that type of energy. King of Cups. So someone here, can you tell me about this King of Cups, please? The lovers. So this is what ended. This is what ended. It's it's and the five of wands. Something here ended with an emperor, emperor and the lovers. That's someone's divine masculine. Someone someone here has called judgment on their divine masculine. The two of you could have gotten into a really really bad fight these past few five days or five weeks ago or something. It was a really bad fight here. There's a DF that got into a really nasty argument with her DM. Or his DM, okay? Regardless of gender, regardless of orientation, none of that matters. It's the energy, okay? It's the energy we embody. But it's a DF that really had to get nasty with their DM, and I feel the heart chakra anger. So this is how I know this is someone's read. Because hurtful words were exchanged. This emperor still loves you, but... 
it almost feels like the lovers on the side, like they put you to the side or something. Like they're with someone else and they want you to remain single and alone or I, I don't know. I don't know. They see you as their property or something. Yeah, it could be a Capricorn. The devil. It could very well be a Capricorn. A Sagittarius, a Virgo, Libra, or Scorpio. That that could be someone's emperor. Okay. But it was a really nasty Knight of Cuffs High Priestess. They only want to give you the Knight of Cuffs, but you know that they love you or something like that. So it was just like a really debilitating situation that got dragged out. Two of Pentacles, the Moon. Three of Swords, Eight of Swords. Okay, these next two weeks, your mind, like, you are going to feel up, like, in the clouds. You are, it's normal. You know, Virgo, new moon. Virgo needs all the facts and the data, but the new moon is darkness. How can Virgo see in the new moon? The new moon is for, you know, Pisces. I always said it, that the new moon really doesn't work with any of the signs. Maybe Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer, like the water, but every other sign is, like, I don't really feel the new moon vibes with any of the signs. I feel like the new moon is darkness, what's in the subconscious, right? What we can't see. And so Virgo needs all the details, all the facts, all the information. If Virgo can't see that information, then it causes us, you know, in that Virgo energy to be up in the clouds, to be up in our head. And this energy can last for a few weeks, okay? It can last for two weeks minimum, but for some it may last even longer, so it's normal if you feel like you're overwhelmed or your head is up in the clouds. It's normal for you to feel like that love right now, one day at a time, right? But the Two of Pentacles, Moon, Three of Swords, you're really trying to decide now if this is over for good. Like, I feel like you're trying to decide if you even want love this lifetime. Something here, okay? I, I feel like you're really... You're really not feeling love. I feel that a lot of you are not feeling this planet either, like... I don't know. Let's keep going here. This landed over here. High Priestess in reverse. Sharia in reverse. So two major arcanas in reverse. All the other cards are up, right, right. But even still, I don't know why. Why the High Priestess and the Sharia were in reverse? That's weird. Well, the High Priestess flipped upside down, but the Sharia in reverse. Perhaps Spirit moved it. Spirit has moved things on my desk before. One time during a personal read, they flung a book because I have a shelf over my desk with books. And they literally flung a book down, which was, like, frightening, to say the least. Um, yeah, no, it's over. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry. They just keep reiterating the same message. It's over. It's dead. High Priestess, Cherry in Reverse, you have no intention of ever dealing with this so you're trying to decide if you even want to deal with love at this point or if you just want to remain single and be like the crazy cat lady the crazy dog man that lives up in the mountains of western virginia okay or new hampshire like at this point you're just trying to decide like what you wish to do page of pentacles and the sun yes yeah, we're saying yes like at this point you're just really focused on your money your wealth your career. I heard architect, so someone could be going to school to become an architect here. I'm telling y'all, it's a Taurus. Or I feel like it's two. It's a big Taurus and a big Leo that are going to be coming in, and they're going to want to fly you out. This is going back to that last read where I was like, it's a Taurus that's going to want to fly you out to their place so that you live with, live with them and that you guys get together and whatnot. But it's an energy here, Pisces. You're going to have to decide because you, you know, mm, I don't know. This could be like a love triangle thing. There could be a love triangle here with you, this Taurus, and this Leo. Two of Swords, Queen of Cups. Yeah, for now, for now, you don't want to deal with love. 
for now you're good okay or these next two days you're going to be like over it you're going to just be like i'm good on that i'm not trying to deal with love yeah ten of swords and the page of swords yeah you're you're done with that so it's like i feel that you're you feel this taurus like in your energy okay you can feel like this individual spiritually spying and whatnot the leo is like more in the future i feel like the leo is going to be more of like a next year thing like next summer but the taurus is like close to your energy i feel here that you're done with you know the sound per for good is done but you are observing this taurus or you feel this en energy in your energy but it's almost this energy of like you pausing you reflecting like you don't want to rush into anything right away <clears throat> self-image is here and love yeah you're doing like a period of reflection right now i think there's a lot of like why did this connection end the way it did like why did it just explode why did it go from zero to 100 really quickly when you know it's obvious we have love there but what I'm here to tell you is that they're on one page and you're on another page. And that's why it exploded. They want you to remain single and celebrate and basically be like their flame that they call up every now and then and lay up with this emperor. You know, you probably wanted most likely a deep connection with this emperor of something long term, something official, but they don't want that. You don't want what they want. And so this is what caused the explosion. So this tower was inevitable. This tower, it was inevitable. It was always going to come because this individual, they want to be in more of an open type relationship for themselves, not for you. They want you to be single and celibate unless it's for them, okay? They want you to be, like, you know, in that house, wife, house, husband energy. Like, they don't want you out there. They can be out there doing whatever with whoever, you know, and if they get themselves an infection or something or an entity, then, you know, it's no biggie. They can still go over there to you and give you that thing. But you, they don't want you doing none of that. And you got to stay put. You got to be on your best behavior. That's why this, this was destined to explode. Because how much is someone going to take? Boredom is here and toxicity. Yeah. Oh, Pisces. This heavy read. This energy is heavy. Abundance, yeah, and brick wall. And this individual was trying to block your money as well. This Amber, they were doing all kinds of craziness online and happiness. You're just going to focus on your money. You're going to focus on your education. You're going to be joining the gym, okay? You're going to be focusing on your music. Some of you are musicians. Some of you are dancer. Okay, your fitness. You're really going to be focusing on yourself. It's all about the self. Okay, that's what it's going to be for you. <clears throat> and those that genuinely care about you, genu genuinely show love, okay, and affection towards you. Renewal and Pink Diamond. What is this Renewal and Pink Diamond? Surviving. Birth. This player's going to try to propose to you after all of this, y'all. After all of this that this past energy put you through, and after that big argument, they're going to try to propose to y'all. Because they're struggling. And renew things. I'm at a loss. I don't even know what to say. Like, this is a roller coaster ride. This is a roller coaster ride, y'all. Really think deeply before. You make your decision when it comes to this. That's all I got to say. So that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care. <laughs>